All right, T, what's going on? Doing a collection update. It's been a minute since I did this, and I figured a good time to do it. January 2022. Crazy to think we're in 2022. Um, <clears throat> I like more doing this ain't more than anything just to look back and see at the end of 2022 what nice I still have. Because <laughs> I always sell nice a lot. So so let's get in the case. I've had this vault case for a long time. It was a, I think a drop somebody it's a custom Nalpok um inserts with this i like how this one lays out front and then they have the standard inserts underneath so let's get into it so let's start with what i'm carrying today it's part of the collection obviously uh the mallory designs for us is today's knife of the day and actually the last two days so i still have that one uh this is fantastic i just got this one recently so but what i'll do is i'll go back through my oldest knives to see what i've had the longest and then we'll start from there. So, the oldest knife in my collection, I believe, is my Hinderer XM18. Um, Warren Cliff, it's the first tryway model that they ever came out with. Uh, honestly, literally the first because it was Rick Hinderer's knife <laughs> that I bought from him. So, it's been a few years since I've had this knife. Um, back when Blade HQ did their Grand Opening Pleasant Grove, they're no longer even a store down there. It's weird. They just have their warehouse. Never mind. Because it's a little loose. Um, I'm actually thinking about switching swapping a black scale onto this and going with like a blacked out look. But I do have that blue kind of hardware. I don't know. But this one I've had forever. It's been sharpened multiple times, used all the time. Yeah, so have that one. Don't anticipate that one leaving anytime soon. Hasn't yet, so. Um, next oldest would probably be my bug out. Maybe. The OG bug out um, that I've had like multiple scales on. This one's got, well, yeah, this is old, is old because I had it when I had this. Actually, this knife's older. I take it back. I had this at the Blade HQ um, grand opening when I bought that. So this is actually older and it says EDC gear reviews. You can barely, it's kind of wearing off. They did, the Benchmade guy was there, did engravings. Um, I've added multiple different types of scales. These are flight tame, just red G10. I like the red and black look. So, Okay, that's actually my oldest knife, the bug out. Um, and then the, God, I thought that's been that long. Then the XM18. So probably after that would be my Strider um, SNG. This is the Mandalorian version that uh, Prometheus Designs Works did. There's the Prometheus Design Work logo. This is the way on there. You can see it's got, it's been used. All these knives are users, guys. I don't have safe queens or anything like that. So. That's probably one of my next oldest knives, and it's not going anywhere anytime soon. Definitely not that one. Let's see here. Um, probably my Para 3 and K390 would be the next um, that I've had the longest. Yeah, that or, yeah, probably. I think I've had this over, well over a year. Um, it's got fat carbon scales on it, skinny design, skinny scales from um, Riptex Garage, I believe is who did these. Um, it's got the Uncle Mike's clip that I really like so much on eBay. I don't know if you can find them anymore. Um, it's got a uh, Mike Sontag Knives MS Custom Knives Regrind at 10,000 spine the edge. Yeah, it's fantastic. And yeah, it's the only pair of three I have at the moment. I just sold one. So that one's pretty old. Um, Probably next would be my fire tack um, or my field duty EC, I think. Yeah, this isn't my original fire tack. I had a different one. This is the first triway model that they came out with on the fire tack. It's got the recurve blade on it. Um, and I swapped it. I've got like four or five scales for this thing. I use this one. This is one of the most carried used knives. It's the best hinder in my opinion. Um, super stupidly smooth. Just a overall good knife for EDC. So I've had the fire tech a long time. You can imagine that's gonna stay around. I know this is gonna stay around. This is my favorite EDC knife. Might be replaced by the McNeese, but we'll see. Um, Field at EDC, had this one for over a year now. So quite a long, for me, that's a long time. And a lot of guys are gonna be like, that's crazy. I've had knives for 10 years. Um, but you know, I, I buy and sell stuff a lot. So that's a, that's a staple in the collection. Don't see that going anywhere. Um, I 
Actually, yeah, this Emerson's so old. Oh my gosh. This is a CQC7, um, or like first one of the, like, I think the first one they read waveless. Um, look how bad the lock bar is. It just, just like traveled all the way over. I should probably send it to Emerson. Um, and Sharpen does have a P grade thumb disc. So I've had this Emerson forever. I mean, the G10 is super smooth on it, and that's not intentional. It's just because of wear <laughs> over time. Um, yeah, I've had this one quite a long time. In fact, I think I should send this in. I think it hopefully it's under your warranty because it has uh, lock rock. So um, it's old. I mean, it's an old Emerson. Like, I don't know. Mini A100. No, not Mini A100. Mini CQC7A, sorry. Um, it's what it is. Had that one a long time. Next probably would be my um, UTX-85 Bounty Hunter. You guys know I'm a big Boba Fett guy. Big, big Boba Fett fan. Star Wars fan in general, but Boba Fett's my favorite. Um, and I've had this one for a while. That one's not going anywhere. Maybe my Drift. Also one of my top yeah, carried knives and used knives. And one of my knives with, you know, well, um, Fire Monster for Knife of the Year last year. The Quiet Fairy Drift is an incredibly good knife. Uh, I love the Vanex, super clean steel. It's so nice to sharpen and use. Um, and it's just a good overall, I've been early on this, just good overall EDC size. So don't think that one's going anytime soon either. <clears throat> Next up, probably a Mini Adonis. Though this isn't my most this isn't the original Mini Domus I had. I got this reground one because I wanted the Micro Sontag regrind on it. Um, again, MS Custom Knives did a reground on this, and it's ridiculous. It's like 12,000 find the edge, so it's still very robust. Just a great, uh, hard to use folder. I still think one of the best knives that came out last year as well. The Mini Adamus. Uh, probably this guy next would be the. Mini, um, oh, what the heck? Arian? I think it's Arian. Um, God, I can't remember the name off the top of my head. It's either the Sirius or the Arian. I think it's the Arian, though. Uh, it's, it's the Artesian Cutlery, Artisan Cutlery, um, Cerebus Knives Works collab. This is the White Man Knives exclusive mini um, in the Coral Micarta. Had that a while as well. Uh, my Axial Shift. We're getting into some newer knives. I haven't had that one, this, this one very long. The Axial Shift uh, Auto 20 CV on this guy. Still, I think, one of the best out the fronts you can get for the money, especially for the cost. It's made in the USA. Um, nice out the front. So that one doesn't get carried very much, honestly. All right, so newer knives. Now we have the... Um, I got the McNeese in next. This is the Mac 2 3.3, Mac, Mac 2 3.5. Um, recently just sharpened this guy. It's not a mirror edge on purpose. That is 1500 grit, then dropped. Just trying out different edges, see how they perform. Um, and I, man, I freaking love this. This is my favorite knife right now, by far. It is so good. So, so good. Um, so that one I think will stay on quite a bit too. Then I got the Sage 5, um, lightweight in M4 from Blade HQ, Little Holidays. Um, I still have the handles mint. I will probably either rip dye these or um, there is a company, Parson Blade Works, that makes aftermarket scales for the Sage 5 lightweight. And I thought about maybe getting some of those in my Carta because I really do like this knife quite a bit. In fact, I'm finishing up my review of this knife because I've never, I don't remember reviewing the Sage 5. I might have the original, but lightweight, I mean. I have the Sage 5 for sure, but not the lightweight. So yeah, that one's one of my newer, newer ones. And my newest purchase is actually a uh, Sebenza 31, um, large Sebenza 31 in the natural micarta. And recently sharpened this. This is F S45 on this guy. And it has Cap City Creations thumb studs. So it's got dual thumb studs. And they are so, so much better than the Chris Reeve runs, guys. I mean, you can easily... I know some men's of purists are going to be like, don't flip that open. But um, yeah, I can even middle finger flick it. Uh, I fell, of course. Yeah, I can even middle finger flick it with this, these studs. They're just so good. So I bought it like this off a fellow knife nut, uh, Tim Allen, off of Instagram. 
he's me been um uh, following each other for years and we've sold and bought knives to each sold knives to each other a, a few times so i've been carrying this quite a bit um just kind of think why don't i have a sabenza in my collection they're an iconic knife they're fantastic great user so i've been carrying that a lot so that is my current collection guys i am let's see one two three four five six that's a dozen twelve thirteen fourteen and fifteen sixteen that can't be right one, two, three, four, five, six. That's a dozen. Folds 19. 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. That's a weird number that it holds 19 knives. <laughs> I thought it held. I mean, it has like a week's worth here. One, two, three, four. Yeah. So you got like your. I usually like take what I'm going to carry for the week, put it in this top tray. That's what's sitting out. That's what I carry for the week. And then the bottom is where I store the other knives. Um, and I rotate them usually. So, oh, I missed one. My bad. Uh, the Megara Knives Karaki, my, um, one of my knives of the year as well, as far as just like overall value and just how impressive with the quality and the fit, you know, the fit and finish quality, the just smoothness. This thing is ridiculous for the money, under 200 bucks. It's crazy. So I forgot about that one. I do carry this one a lot too, and it gets used all the time. So yeah, all these get used and, and have, most of these have been sharpened. Except for maybe the UTX-85. Maybe a couple haven't been sharpened yet, um, but I will eventually sharpen them. So 19 knives. Um, I'm not, I don't have quite have 19. I have 17. I'm missing two spots. So I'll probably get two more to fill this. And I typically don't go over that and I'll probably move something now. Uh, right now I don't have anything I want to sell. So um, I don't know what it would be, but, and I don't know of anything new that's out that's exciting. I kind of want to try the, that new Oxworks um, Riot collaboration. Can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. Uh, I would like to get my hands on one of those. Um, and I think I have a couple pre-orders in um, as well. Those will come out later this year. Oh yeah, the uh, um, Avant Concepts Luft, Luft, Luft. Man, Jake's gonna kill me for not knowing what that's called. I'm having a brain fart right now. Um, I have that one on pre-order. I have a Nimble on pre-order from TWC Designs, and there's one other one. So I've got a few other ones that are coming this year that are just on pre-order. Um, they'll come out later this year. They're still being made and such, but that's the state of my current collection, guys, in 2022 in January, so we'll see where it is. Maybe I'll do one like each quarter, see if I've you know changed things uh, much since then. I don't anticipate I will this year a whole lot. I, but you never know with me. I'm, I I go through spurts where I don't really buy very many knives and then I go through spurts where I buy a ton and sell and yeah, it just goes, depends on my mood, I guess. Uh, I also have a lot of fixed blades that aren't, um, in this case, this is my folders. Um, if you want to see a fixed blade collection, I can do one. It's nothing crazy. I, I have most fixed blades I have, I use, you know, not very often unless I'm like camping or doing some outdoors, which, you know, this time of year I'm not using it much because it's January and it's 20 degrees outside. But, um, you know, come spring, summer, I'll camp more. So, anywho, I'm rambling at this point, so I'm going to land up the video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.